Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Last time I just purchased the blue candle and just completely emptied out my rupee count, so... Let's go take a look at something while I have zero rupees. If you hit start, you get into your item selection screen there. I think it's this one. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to go in here if you actually have rupees, or only if you have a couple. Uh, every now and then, the secrets will be, pay me for the door repair charge, and he will charge you, I believe, 20 rupees every time? I'm not absolutely positive. And there's another secret here. What could be in here? Oh, just some old lady. Apparently isn't a witch, because she doesn't burn. Yeah, well, hey, we'll put her to use a little later. Eh, let's just more or less continue to level 2 there. Take a little roundabout way to pick up some secrets on the way. If I didn't say so, the blue candle, how that works, is you can use it one per screen, and it has the same attack value eight, as your wooden sword, so technically one. You should be able to get rid of Octoroks in one shot. It'll still take two shots to kill the... Uh, Zola is what the instruction booklet calls those guys, but I believe in every Zelda game thereafter, they're called Zoras. So if I call them a Zora, well, that's why. And another type of secret here, it's a secret to everybody. These guys will help you out, and they'll give you a certain fixed denomination of rupees. So that guy in particular is a 10. If we come in here, there's a secret shop. Uh, nothing I want to buy, but this is the cheapest. You will ever find the magical shield here for 90 rupees, and this will recover one heart, as you might expect, and I don't want to purchase this here because we can actually find it cheaper for later. Hey! Ha-ha! <laughs> Go away. And let's see, I believe it's four, eight, fourth from the side there. Oh, fifth from the side. If we hop in here... A guy gives us a choice between getting a red potion of life or getting a heart container. There is absolutely no reason to grab the red potion of life. What those do is when you use that, it'll fully restore your HP and then turn into a blue potion of life. And then once you turn or use the blue potion of life, it disappears. So, And the reason you'd never want to buy that one or accept that one is because you can actually purchase those later. So there's just no point. How much do you have? Ah, 30 bucks. Hey. So yeah, always accept the heart container in those instances. Hey. Ooh. Uh, did I get a chance to show that off? That's a clock. When you pick it up, you're invulnerable, and all the enemies will be uh, just frozen in time. Now stuff like the uh, Zola there, it will disappear underwater, and you won't be able to kill it. Also, another note about those guys, if you were to stab them and not kill them, they completely regenerate their HP uh, when they go underground there, so keep that in mind. Well, these guys are called levers, by the way. Lionel is something else. I'm getting ahead of myself. No. Let's continue on this way. And lots of fairies all of a sudden. Ah, screw it. I don't want to wait for P-hats. Hey! These guys are tech tights. They just jump around erratically. Not too difficult to deal with. Hey! More money? Put some bombs. You guys have any bombs? You do not. Oop. Yeah, I don't know why they did this, but every time a noise happens, it replays the uh, C thing there. Not much that I care for, but... Now these are Malblins, is according to the instruction manual there. They put an L in their name. And they're... Hey, alright, I did find some bombs. Uh, how those guys work is they are pretty much like the Octoroks, just a little tougher. Their arrows can be blocked. And these are Armo statues. Do not ever touch them from the bottom. Whenever you touch them, they'll come to life. And if you were to touch them from the bottom, they would instantly damage you. So nothing we want there. Why, yes, yes it is. Oh! They can move at all sorts of different speeds. There's not really any reason to uh, get them moving. Um, 
more. How did he come over there? Thought he was supposed to come in the next available spot there. Well, whatever. Yeah, some can move just absurdly fast, while others move, well, quite slowly. Hey! I think these guys have three HP. Ow, technically, so. Alright, don't get murdered. Do not get murdered. Hmm. Go away. Yeah, you can see how quickly he was moving. Come over here, we can get even more money. It's only ten, but why not? No. Eh, might as well. Yeah, another shop here. Actually, you might purchase a heart. Why not? If for no other reason, just to show how it works. And not die, so I... Ouch. So I don't have to start over from the start. Nobody needs that. Just walked into the wall. There you go. Yeah, how the knockback fe feature works, as you've noticed, sometimes the enemies with more than one hit, or that take me more than one hit, will be knocked back. If they're... It's a lot easier to see in the underworld here, so I'll hop on down. Yeah, you can kind of see the grid here. These little squares show it off much better. If something is in, say, the center of that square when I hit it, it will uh, not get knocked back. So keep that in mind for a little later. If you guys thought those were a snake, you'd be wrong. These are ropes. They'll come charging at you whenever you're in the same row or column as them, but they won't switch directions on you, so once they're set in one direction, he's not going to just randomly turn around until he hits a wall there. Come here. Pretty good money, on the other hand. What do we have over here? More ropes. Hey, hey. Actually, I don't believe you need to use any keys in this dungeon, if I remember right, so... Especially if you have some bombs, but I think you can get bombs in this dungeon uh, regardless, so... Let's take a look here... Alright. Eh, we could use a key there, but I don't want to do that. Let's go up here and investigate. Uh, these guys are called uh, Gorias. I re remembered that, so... Oh, yeah, you saw that. I think we saw that before, but every now and then there's a room with a... I don't know what you want to call it, like a leader monster or something. Once you kill that guy, all of the enemies will die, so it's kind of nice there. I think if we come over here... Oh! Blue Garayas! Yeah, not too much more difficult other than the... Ow fact that they have more HP. I keep forgetting, I can't block that. Oh, no. Get him. Yeah, we're killing all those guys. We get the magical boomerang. And the difference between the regular one and the blue one. Oh, ow. Don't kill me. Yeah, is that the magical boomerang can go all the way across the screen. Can do without gels. There you go. Another thing about gels, and this also applies to keys, is that you can kill them with the boomerang, so it kind of helps out there. No. Hurry up. Let me up. You can see each level has... Oh, God. Yeah, we could have picked this up a little later in the level. Just had to go up one more map there. Uh, what was I saying? I already forgot. Oh, the levels are a certain type of picture. Like, this level is the Crescent Moon, and the first level was referred to as the Eagle. Just something to note about the game. What's in here? Dodongo dislikes smoke. Got it. And instead of using a key, I'll go back to the room right here. Have we seen these guys before? Uh, once you get close to them, ooh, they'll come in and try to smash you. You can actually just walk right through them. Ah! Here we have another new guy, a mold worm. Try to keep my 
distance from him. Yeah, they just wander around. It's not a bad idea to hit the candle with them, just because there's so much of them to hit. Ooh, that was badly needed. Perfect timing. And what treasure awaits me here? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Nuke! I wonder if I can get hit by my own fire when I'm invulnerable like this. I've never tried. I would assume not, but... Eh, what's in here? More Garayas. Yeah, it also updates the uh, boomerangs for the Garayas. Uh, once you get the magical boomerang, I don't think they're any different, though. Here you go. Well, if they would throw it this way, I could actually check if it goes all the way across the screen. No, it's pretty much the same. It doesn't do any more damage or anything, so... And, yeah, that's about all for that. And just like last time, we get to a boss monster, the Dodongo. Uh, what he was referring to is him disliking smoke. Uh, there's one way to do it. There's just hope and pray you can get him stunned like that. Or I'll show the other method. If you stab him like that, it'll kill him instantly. Uh, he'll recover. Or you can just drop two bombs like that. Well, I did it a little quickly. Uh, you can just drop two bombs like that, and he will instantly get petrified by the other one. The regular way to do it is to just feed him two bombs, and he'll blow up. But if you do the stabbing method, if you get him caught in the smoke and stab him, he will always drop bombs for you, so that's kind of nice. I had some bombs to goof with because they dropped in that previous room, so figured I'd give you a few alternate ways to uh, get rid of the Dodongos. Probably wait about a second or so, maybe half a second, before you drop your second bomb. Hey, come here. All right, I took care of him. But what can we do now that we have bombs? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda. This is Takama Sok, and I'll see you later.